Go talk with your Omar. Oh, sorry, I forgot your Omar. I was looking at Yusuf when I said that. I meant to say, Yusuf, have you got a total yet? No. No. Okay. Omar, have you got a total yet? No. Feed the meat, boys. Do you have a total yet? Yeah. You do? Do you have one? You got 120. No. Well, congratulations. <laughs> 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 it is 120 because you don't do every question. You only do four questions in B, not six. If you did six, it'd be more than 100. How many did you do in B? <laughs> did you do them all? I did two. Look. Yeah. Yeah. four. Leave them on. Ah. That's a good question. Do we no. get marked down to yeah. do all? No, you just don't get marked for the correct ones. No, for the um, in, in section B, we do like five questions and one of, and one of them. <laughs> this has been asked three times. So the third time, no, you only get marked for the first four you do. So I won't even look at the fifth one. It is nice. Nice for me. Not nice for you. And these are the rules from Manchester, you are only to mark the first four attempts. So, if you don't want me to mark a question, you must cross it out. Okay? Right, let's have a look at A2. A bag contains five blue and three yellow. You take two out without replacing, what's the probability that they are different colours? So you can get a blue and a blue, or a yellow and a yellow. These are the probabilities. Oh, sorry, different colours. I apologise. A blue and a yellow, or a yellow and a blue. Different colours? Yes. So, at the beginning, you could get blue or yellow, and then you can get blue or yellow, blue or yellow. Um, this one is 5 over 8, and this one is 3 over 8. This one, after you take the blue out, there's only four out of seven left, mm -hmm. but uh, there's still three yellow out of seven. When you take the yellow out, there's only two out of seven left, but you still have all five blue out of seven. Blue yellow would be five over eight times three over seven, or yellow blue, which would be three over eight times five over seven. This is uh, seven eighths. 16, oh, 57, 56, isn't it? 15 over 28. Oh. Yeah. But this is 30 over 56, mm -hmm. which is 15 over 28, as you said. Yes, I can't simplify this anymore. How many marks was that? Four. Four marks, it's okay, I think. Uh. A4. A4. Okay, let's do A4 next. Please write this down if you need to. Uh, you were asking for this, weren't you? Do you need to write it down? No, I just said blue, blue, yellow, yellow, not blue, yellow, yellow, blue. You only did one of the two. No, no, I did. What's the probability of them being the same color? Ah, so you decided to do not what I asked for. Exactly. Interesting <laughs> strategy. <laughs> um, I don't know how it'll work in the exam for you. I recommend doing what's asked in the question. You should tell me how to live my life. <laughs> yeah, okay, all right. All right I won't judge you, okay? <laughs> right, let's have a look now at A4. And we have 2 minus 3x power 8. And we wanted ascending and the first four terms. Okay? So we'll need our calculator here. Question, question. Is it a good question or yes, is it a FISO question? question? No, no, a good one. Right. No, it better be good. What? Because you're interrupting me in the middle of doing yeah, it. Sorry. Can we do the same for physics? Like this, one. this didn't have to be asked in the middle of this question because it's not about this question. Is it? 
So you could have asked me at the end of this question, true? Well, at the beginning of this. Also possible. But I'm sure the idea jumped in your head in the middle of this question, so at the end would have been most appropriate. Okay. You can re-ask me that at a suitable moment in the class. Okay. Thank you. Right. Um, so, first four terms, smallest to largest. The first one would be 8C0. 2 and minus 3x. Um, but we want to start small, so this will be 0 and this will be 8. This is 8C1, 2, 7, minus 3x1, plus 8C2, 2, 6, minus 3x squared, plus 8C3, 2, 5, minus 3x cubed. Right, uh, 8C0 is 1, 2 power 8 is 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 256. Uh, 2 power 7 is 128 times 8 will be 128, 1024 uh, times 3, 3072. Wow. Thank you. 3072 acts. I think I'm reaching my limit though here. Thank you. 16,000. X squared. And then finally. I know, I didn't want to show off. Uh, go ahead. 483. 483. 84. 3227. 3227. No, not the Is that your phone number? <laughs> What is it? 4 8. Yeah. 3 8. Yeah. 4. Yeah. 2 2 7. <laughs> <laughs> is it really? No, 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 not 2. Not 2. Without the point. Yeah, yeah. Just this? Yeah. X cubed. X cubed. Uh huh. Dot, dot, dot. That's the answer there. Okay. Uh, you were asking for that, wasn't it? No. No, you were asking for that. Okay, so write that down if you need to. And um, what's the name of this lesson uh, that's coming from? Binomial. Theorem or binomial expansion, yeah. yeah. I think I might call the lesson binomial theorem, yeah, possibly. Oh, yeah, so like, pick which one do you want to pick as an example? We pick one like in the middle, or the first one, yeah. Right, so we are looking at all of this, except we don't really need the x in the calculator. We'll just take that out, x power 0. So we're just looking at the terms. Brackets are your friend, people. Uh, so this is um, 8 shift c0 2 power power 8 and then minus 3 power 0 if you want to be particular about it the 2 power 8 was in brackets as well and uh, we can put this in brackets we can go bracket overkill you can never have too many brackets you can always have not enough brackets but you can never have too many brackets so 8c0, 2 power 8, I'm multiplying these, 8c0, multiply 2 power 8, oh, okay. multiply minus 3 power 0, so I should get 256, and I do. Where's the c on the calculator? There. Yeah, this one? She writes the 8C0 differently. Yeah, I know which way she writes it. There's a couple of other ways to write it. So, um, you can write it like this is one way. Or, if you like, you can write it this way. Or, if you're from China, you might even write it this way. Yes, that way. Yeah, no likey. Uh, so, these, and I don't even really like this one. So, uh, this one is okay, and this one is best. But, what happens if you write the third one? This one, in Ireland and the UK and America, this is wrong. Mm. So she gets marked down? This is full wrong. <laughs> so I, I wouldn't get back if I write that. You might lose a mark. Yeah, tough break, huh? So please don't do this. Please don't. Okay. What? We're not in Vietnam now. <laughs> yeah, look. One, two, three, four. 
So the small goes down. They go up. Uh, suppose. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What else do we need to see from this exam? Eight. Eight. Okay. Eight. Uh, 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 a curve has this equation. Uh, complete the square and sketch. Right. So we have the middle term, remember this? And then it's 25 minus the middle, this middle piece here squared. So 25 minus 16 is 9. So the turning point is where? Uh, four, nine. And where does it cross the y-axis? Zero, twenty-five. At twenty-five, because when x is zero, we get <coughs> twenty-five. And the turning point is here at four, nine. And uh, concave or convex? Eight. Convex. Yes, okay. You know the difference? Yes. Good. Okay. How many marks for that? Four. Four. Uh, yes. We finished two questions. Are we having a physics test or not? <laughs> Would you like a physics test? Mm -hmm. when, yeah, when's our last double class of the week? See, we only have a single hour on Friday. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's Friday. right. Friday. So, on Wednesday we have a double, I think. Wednesday have a double. Tomorrow you have a double. Yeah, Wednesday we have. You uh, have a double. Yeah. The new one. Oh, special one for this week because you finish classes on Thursday. Yes. So, uh, so on the days that we have exams on, there are no classes. Mm hmm. What to the teacher? Okay. Teacher or teacher? Teach. The individual teacher will decide for their subject. Usually not. But maybe someone so will want to. So we don't have a lesson on Friday for physics or math? I thought you have a test on Friday. Yeah, yeah but it won't be the whole day. No. <laughs> Chillax, Omar. Um, I don't know. Because you have a test on Friday. What? You test Friday morning, correct? Do you have a test after lunch on Friday? No. No. Do you want to do a physics revision class? Okay, we'll think about it and we'll talk about it in the physics class. The chemistry is for three hours. So we start at nine, we finish at twelve. And then we're done. We don't have any classes. We'll talk about it in physics tomorrow. Yeah. Either way, on Thursday we'll do a practice test. And on Thursday, yes, we have a double lesson. We'll do a practice test on Thursday. And then on Friday, if we choose to have a revision class, we can cover what was a problem in the test on Thursday. Okay. Can I ask yes. a small question? Yes. I don't want the whole question. Okay. Which part? Like in the mark scheme, the, the sign was fl flipped. Why is that? This is seven, is it? No, it's not on the Oh. On the seven. Yeah. Second bit of quality. Uh, X must be... I they are saying the red answer is yours or theirs? I'm afraid to tell you that theirs looks right. Yours looks wrong. Yeah, why? Because if you have x x minus four bigger than zero, when you draw the quadratic, the two roots are zero and four. If it's bigger than zero, you want the piece above the axis, which is this piece and this piece which means you want x to be smaller than 0 or x to be bigger than 4. Okay, what's next here? In A5. A5 now, let's have a look. For real? For real, okay. How is this for A? Huh? How is this for A? Y equals E X. Y equals one over E X. Y equals E X. 
y equals e minus x. y equals 1 e 1 x. y equals 1 e minus 1 x. So this is the graph where a and b are positive, and this is the one where a is positive and b is negative. So the first one, which I'll draw in red, uh, will look like this and cross the axis at 1. The second one, which I'll draw in blue, goes like this. And that also crosses the axis at 1. So clearly they meet at x equals 1. Uh, what am I saying? Uh, x equals 0, y equals 1. If you didn't want to use the graph, you can get it by algebra. Uh, you want to solve these two equations together. We have to show a graph. I know, but if you didn't want to solve it by using the graph, you see, I meant what I said there. Um, you can use a bit of algebra. So the where these two meet, you can use substitution. So you get e x equals e minus x. Now, how can I solve this? I don't know. Log on both sides. So log here and a log here, we get x equals minus x. So we get x plus x equals 0. 2x equals 0, x equals 0. Sub that back into any of these two, and you'll get y equals 1, which is the same answer. Can we do that and then draw the graph? Yes. Is it you were going to ask for this as well? Right. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. Did you get a total? Yes. Did you show me it? No. Show me. I 18. Yes. Not bad. 18? <laughs> yeah. Uh, B4. Last. B4. Last part. Last part of B4. Ah, yes. Yes, yes, yes. And uh, C also. All of C. Oh, part G one. And Sorry. Part one, two, and three of C. All of C, is it? Uh, it's just one part, I know. Okay. Right, part C and part D of B4. B4. I'm sure I did something very similar to this in class. Yes, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, I haven't, like, it looked really familiar. Uh, although, the uh, there's a difference on the domain. It's only from 0 to pi. Tan. That's why. Continue or not? Uh, go to the other part. I took negative, negative. Then it's my domain. Uh, D. D, yeah. Cos A equals 40 over 41. Find sine A. Yes. Well, you have a couple of ways to do this. Uh, probably the easiest way is just by drawing a triangle with adjacent of 40. And, uh, 40 I find use 41. And what's this third? What's this side here? We, we use this, yeah. Good heavens. Yes. Um, someone got a, oh no, I've got a calculator. 41 squared minus 40 squared, no, 9, for this side. Sine A equals 9 over 41 yeah. is the answer. What's this called? Pythagoras. Yeah, yeah sorry, this method is Pythagoras theorem. Okay. Yeah. Yes, we can, we can, we can, we can. So we get sine squared A plus cos squared A equals 1. So sine A equals square root 1 minus cos squared A, which is square root 1 minus 40 over 41 squared, which is 9 over 41.
got squares in those? Yeah. Okay, what's next now? I'm sure we have time. Yeah, we have uh, enough time for another one at least. Uh, I have a simultaneous. Simultaneous? That I solve. What is this? Kindergarten? Exactly. Right, give me your simultaneous. How much is the base total? 80%. Uh, 6m. 6m. Minus 5n. 5n. Equals minus 4. Minus 4. And? The second one is minus 9m. Yeah. Plus 3m. Yeah. Equals 6. Right. Here's five so Uh Multiply by 3 and by 5. So we get 18m minus 15m equals minus 12. Minus 45m plus 15n equals 30. Add them together, these go. Uh, what is this now? 18? No, 18. And this one here? 18 minus 45? Minus 27? See what? Okay, I'll ask you. Yep. I'm subtracting the no. bottom from the top. You are? Yeah, Why would you do that? The M's won't cancel if you do that. You'll end up with 30N. How did I cancel them? It's a good question. <laughs> my, my, what I wrote was minus 18M. Yeah. And then uh, plus 15M. Yeah. Equals minus 12. Ah, that should yeah. be plus 12. Yeah. 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 And then if it if that's the case, then I can subtract. Yep. Okay. Uh, continue? No, that's the case. Yes. Wait, yes? Workbook question. Yes. Which uh, lesson? A practical problem of uh, logarithm. Okie okay, dokie, okay. which one is it? Uh, number seven. Hang on, let me check. Is that the pH one? It's a 1600 word. Oh, the 1600 words one. Oh, yeah, I thought I did this in tutorial, no? Are you sure? Sure. Are you sure, sure? Yes. All right. Yeah, uh, you need the one answer. Is this the question with the teacher playing the game? Yes. Okay. 1600 or 16,000? 16,000. Oh. Right. So, it will finish with a practical problem here. Um, I'll give you an example of this game in practice so you can understand it. Right, I'm thinking of a word, and I want you to guess the word. What word am I thinking of? <laughs> Pick any word, go ahead. Uh, it's not pizza, but in the dictionary, it is before pizza. So if you think about it, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. So uh, it's not pizza in the dictionary, it is before pizza. One word am I thinking of? You can literally pick any word from A to P. So book. It is not book. But it is after book in the dictionary. Right, go ahead. Go ahead. Heels. Heels. It is not this word, it's before this word in the dictionary. It is before this word in the dictionary. Go ahead. <laughs> it is before this word in the dictionary. <laughs> Not important. Go ahead. <laughs> no. Uh, what is it? Wait, so what do we have? No. So it it is after book and before D in the dictionary. Before <laughs> D. <laughs> Uh, car, let me think now. It is not car, after. but it's after car. <laughs> so after I cool. Yes. Cool. No, it's not cool. Commando. 
It's not Commando. Hang on. Man. Hang on, you're wasting all your guesses here. It's, uh, go ahead. Cold? Cold. It is before cold. Go ahead, Lee. Chicken? No, it's before chicken. Yeah. Before sal. Corny, catastrophe. Call. <laughs> hang on, hang on. It is before catastrophe. Before catastrophe. Camp. Uh, no. Huh? No, it's not. <laughs> Oh, candy. Uh, no, 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 no. I'll give it to you now. Oh. Uh. Oh. Yeah. So, so I'm <laughs> I was waiting. Um, so, the teacher's playing this game. How many guesses until the student gets the right answer? So, we assume that the teacher knows 16,000 words. After the student makes the first guess, how many words left are there? If the student makes the right choice on the first guess. 5, 9, 9, 9. How many? No, not 15,999. After the first guess, how many choices are left? This is at the very beginning, before you make any guess. There are 16,000 words the teacher can pick. After the first guess, how many are there? No, there should be 8,000. Because if you pick a word in the middle of the dictionary, you can throw away half the words. If you pick a, a word that begins with an M, then you either know it's before M or after M. So if you make a smart choice at the beginning, you can reduce it to 18,000. If you keep picking a word in the middle of what remains, you half it. So after the next attempt, there will be 4,000. In other words, you have this equation where G is the number of guesses. And what do you want this to be finished? Uh, what do you want at the end? Zero. You know, we want this to equal one. You want only one word left. But you still need one guess left because you need to ask them if that's the word. So the most turns it should take will be G plus one. And you can solve G here. Okay, so um, will we just can you just solve this for G okay. and then give me the answer, please? It would be much nicer you say that the student would pick the word in the middle. No, it wouldn't be much nicer because then you won't think about it and learn. No, because uh, I did think it was a strategy, but I'm not sure what this student. And you've teacher. learned that you should believe in yourself. Uh, yes, no, an important that lesson. Work. That's not that word. <laughs> believe in yourself. Uh, we assume in maths, we always assume in maths that individuals in the story act rationally unless told otherwise. So we always assume that players in games act most rationally. Um, the question would have to tell us otherwise. Okay, do we get an answer here for G? What did you get for G, please? Can we get G? Can it be a please? Yes, absolutely. What did you get for G? Uh, zero point nine nine. Zero point no, 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 no. Look, you just divide both sides by 16,000. And then what do you do next? Log. log. So you put a log on both sides and the G comes down. So G would be log 1 over 16,000 all over log 1 over 2. What's that, please? Uh, 14.9. That sounds more like it. 14.9. So in other words, 15. So the number of guesses? No, it's 15. That's what the one. Oh, sorry. So it was previously like 14.9 14. 14. or something. Yeah. And that's equal to 15. So it's equal to 16? No, you're saying that this was 13.9? Yes. Okay, this is 13.9, which is 14. So the number of guesses is 15. So you need 14 guesses where you ask, is it blank? And then at the last one, there's only one choice left. So then you say it must be whatever. 
So 16 gases, if you are taking more than 16 gases, then you're doing something wrong, because 16 is the maximum. Because what's the minimum number of gases? One. One. Because maybe the teacher picked the word in the middle at the beginning. That begins with an N. Okay, um, in the next class we'll, start, we'll continue with past papers. All right. Thank you. Oh, gone forever.